Elevate TV, advancing kingdom lifestyle. Sons mm. want to manipulate mm. their parents mm. for them to get what they have, including even killing the parents to yes. access the inheritance. Mm. We have a generation of young people who've been disappointed, mm. but they expected their parents to do certain things they didn't do. Yes. Or some of them are purely lazy and they've decided, I will not do anything. Yes. He brought me, let mm. him take care of me. Good evening viewers and welcome to the show. This is Man Unveiled where we speak to men and um, when we speak to men we are also very convinced that we are speaking to families, we are speaking to society and we are speaking to the communities. So today we have a very interesting topic where we are looking at the Bible on one side at the beginning and we are also looking at the New Testament uh, and here we are referring to how men are supposed to honor their fathers and mothers as it is depicted in the book of Exodus and chapter 20 as well as it is portrayed in the book of Ephesians chapter 6. So I'm your host Anton Wanyoike and I'm privileged to have two gentlemen, very good gentlemen, very loaded on set and I would like them to introduce themselves. My name is Ernest Nyingi. I'm a legacy leadership consultant and execution coach. Basically, I thrive in helping individuals and organizations to be successful, to lead well, and to make a difference. It's always a pleasure to have you, Nyinge. Yes, sir. Uh, even as you continue impacting upon men in the various other quarters, mm. we know for sure today you're going to share something mm. that is strongly mm. that will have an impact upon men. Mm. And to my immediate right. Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Wanyeke. Joshua Limo is my name. I'm a husband uh, to one wife, uh, and together with that, I'm also a healthcare professional. Uh, I'm a public health specialist, uh, and beyond that, of course, I also am a, I'm a church member. I'm a born again Christian, uh, and I, I, I truly appreciate being on this set to discuss on the matter of honor specifically honoring the parents and yes. our biological parents yes so i'm glad to be here and thank you so much for having me excellent excellent um this gentleman joshua limo is a friend i also know that he's a young scientist but beyond that mm. he's taught children for many years mm. so don't look at his age he's very good because if we can actually lay the proper foundation mm. i'm very sure that you're able actually to um to to, to bring the children to a level where they cannot depart from the way, as it is said in the book of Proverbs. Yeah. So let me start with you. The book of Exodus in chapter 20 talks about honor. Would you be able to state for us that commandment, whether you're using the book of Exodus or Ephesians, just the way it is stated? Moses was commanded to, to speak to the children of Israel that yes. honor your father and mother. Mm -hmm. Uh, for in this you will have long life. Mm -hmm. So and and then together with that now uh, is in the book of uh, the same was uh, repeated by Paul mm -hmm. in his in his writing to Ephesians, yes. telling the Ephesians to honor their their their, their parents, their father and mother, so that they may have long life. Mm -hmm. And he, 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 rema he reminds them that mm -hmm. this commandment mm -hmm. is the one of the key commandments mm. that will 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 give uh, will ha with with their promise. With the, promise. The, the rest the rest may be may have not a, a, had a promise, mm. but this one had a promise, mm. and the promise is long life. Mm. So that tells us the weight in which honor uh, mm. presents yes. that not only to an individual, yes. but even to the society at all at large. Yes. Uh, but to get today because we are looking at honor in regards to. A, a, a parent mm. and a child, mm. like a son and a father, yes. a son and a mother, yes. uh, a daughter and a father, and yes. a daughter and a mother. Mm. Uh, and so that tells us this, this is something that God esteems highly. That's why he puts a price tag. Yes. You see, the rest doesn't have a price tag, but this one has a price tag. Yes. Uh, you know, if you go to the supermarket you, and you can see something labeled. So this one, this commandment has a price tag, and the you tag is long life. The value is called out yes. completely. Yes. That 
it is long life. Yes. So, Ninge, what comes into your mind when you hear the term honor? Just honor. I think honor, by definition, uh, my, my, my English teacher did a very good job to okay. make sure that if you explain something, <laughs> we need to define yes. you know, the words. Yes. And, and, um, and the idea here is of honor is to treat or regard with high respect. Yes. The idea of, you know, picking someone and valuing them for who they are yes. and for what they do. Yes. You see, when I say, when you tell someone, I honor you, mm. essentially you are saying that you're not treating them like it's normal, it's not casual. It's yes. thought through, it is intentional. Yes. You know, it has a bit of, you know, a lot of high value and regard. Mm. That's the idea of, of honor. Honor. Yes. So you're saying it is a place of high respect, yes. of great esteem, yes. a placement that is above the norm. the norm. So you're saying this person is actually elevated. Yes. Okay, we also, you are on all of it TV. Yes. So it's actually yes. elevated. Yes. Uh, in terms of the way you respect them, yeah. in terms of the way you relate with them. Yeah. And that is where I want us now to come to. Mm. Um, over the years, you find that the world has been evolving mm. from the traditional setup mm. where people lived within the confines of one geography, one mm. small territory, mm. built the same place, lived the same area, mm. married within the same area. Mm. But things have been changing and that will continue changing. Today you hear your parents are in the village, mm -hmm. or you hear your par parents are in America, mm -hmm. or you hear uh, your parents are here and you are in a different continent. Mm -hmm. So would you be able to let us understand mm -hmm. how this place of honor mm -hmm. has been changing also mm -hmm. with this and mm -hmm. whether that change is supposed to be felt? Mm -hmm. And also the issue of the way of life and mm -hmm. maybe that one Limo will talk mm -hmm. to us about it. Eh? Mm -hmm. So the geographical spread mm -hmm. and the way it is impacting on this place of honor. The reality is life is changing. Yes. Uh, the communities the way they were, you know, uh, before time, you know, before industrialization. Yes. Essentially, a father and a mother and children would live in the same community. And they'd have one trade that they would do, if it's maybe animal keeping or farming or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But they were within the setting. But over time, one of the changes is industrialization has brought the idea of people now move. Yes. You know, parents have gone to work, mm. so they come, you know, during weekend or monthly, you see. But regardless of that setting and those changes, the, uh, the commandment of honor does not change. Mm. So it is not a situational thing looking for what is convenient yes. and what works. Yes. The, the context of honor is uh, the same high regard for an individual should go should continue regardless of placement or circumstances that have changed. Yes. And I know now with not being, like parents not being very present, mm. you know, their presence not being very felt, mm. you know, in terms of, you know, physically, mm. they may be felt financially because they are providing and yes. doing all those things. Mm. But the fact that these settings are changing, yeah. the, the directive from the Lord to make sure that the people who brought you into this world mm -hmm. uh, receive the honor due. Mm. It has not changed. Yes. Yes. But it is true. It is, it is changing. So, so what you're saying yes. is this thing is not just about the physical. Yes. It's also a matter of the heart. Yeah. That honor has more to do with the heart. Yes. The position of the heart, mm. whether we are living within the same confine yes. or environment, yes. or we are actually in different places. Yes. But Limo, let's come to the place where people used to feed from the same farm. Mm -hmm. Sadio, yes. the setup was in such a way they actually basically taking everything. The mm. proceeds of the farm is actually what they were depending on. Mm. If you look at that point when God was speaking to Moses, it was one common community mm. in, <laughs> in a certain land. Sadio, mm. so they were basically all together. But in this setup, you've gone or your father has gone. So what is that place when now it comes to the currency? Because that time... The, the proceeds from the farm is what would actually depend on. And you're not saying honor is actually money, but the person is far away and they're actually in need. I think we, we need to, to look at honor from a principal perspective yes. beyond the law. Beyond you know, sometimes the law. when you look at the law, mm -hmm. the locks and many, many may be considered, you know, law, mm -hmm. law, <laughs> law is, becomes a little bit challenging. But when you look at it on a principal perspective, yes. this is a principle of life. 
Yes. Whether the whether the society change or doesn't change, the principle it's remains. A principle. It, like the principle of sowing and reaping. Mm. If you sow, you, you it has the, the seed has to germinate. I like that. And and has to come out. And you don't have to go and check whether it's it's it's, it's whether it's germinating. It will germinate because the principle applies. Mm. So the matter of honor uh, is a principle in this life. Mm -hmm. You honor your father. Mm. I honor my father. Let me use myself. I honor my father and my mother. Good. And I don't have to beg for the, princi the, the principle to work. Yes. It will automatically work. Mm. Coming to, to now uh, the, the, the aspect of people do, don't live in the same society and all that. As you have said, you, you said that honor is a matter of the heart. Yes. Which is absolutely true. Yes. Mm. That is the basis. The, it's the way I regard my father. Yes. Whether he's a drunkard. Yes whether he's a pastor, mm. that regard I have for him mm -hmm. is the key. Mm -hmm. Because it's what, how I feel, how I regard him, mm -hmm. how I, I respect. Whether I, now, and, and so it begins from the heart. Mm -hmm. Now it can manifest from the aspect of materially. Mm -hmm. But if it's, it can't be the other way. Yes. It can't be, begin from material to the heart. Yes. It's the other way, from the heart yeah. to material things. Mm -hmm. I can share... Uh, yeah, like, like for me, I'm here in Nairobi, my father is in the village, yes. uh, and my mother is in the village as well. And mm -hmm. of course, I know we are talking to people that maybe some are, are present, some mm -hmm. have, have, have went to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. for, for those that are still present, yes. like for myself, mm -hmm. they're in the village. Yes. Uh, and once, once in a while, mm -hmm. I don't wait for them to ask me mm -hmm. uh, to call them. Mm -hmm. I, I'm the one who called them. Yes. There is one principle in life mm. I think I have developed over time that mm -hmm. a, a son, mm. a father does not look for a son. Yes. A son looks for the father. A son looks for the father. You, mm -hmm. the, the father does not look for the son. Yes. The son looks for the father. Mm -hmm. Why is that? That shows that shows high regard. Yes. That he, if, even if my father calls me right now, I I will hang up and call him back. Mm. Not really because. I have credit. No, mm. it's an honor uh, mm. that I I, 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 I I send it back mm. that yes, I, mm. I have seen your call. Mm. I'll give you a call mm. on my account, mm. not on your account. Yes. As a son. As a son. Just small practical uh, aspects. You're already getting to yes. the various ways of honoring these parents. Yes. But I like what you're saying. This is a principle. Yes. And principles are changeless. Yes. You mm. cannot change principles. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the moment you activate a principle, mm -hmm. the outcomes are automatic. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know, mm -hmm. there's no way you throw a stone upward yes. mm -hmm. and still wait for it not to come down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be very, yeah. I mean, it, that would defy mm -hmm. the principle. Yes. And you're saying, let's honor mm -hmm. our parents. Yes. And whatever is actually called out as a value, mm -hmm. as a benefit, will definitely come to us. Yes. Nindi, let's mm -hmm. come to the various ways mm -hmm. that we can actually honor our parents. Yes. And if you are able to compare with the past mm. because we are living in a modern society. Yeah. So how do we honor them mm. when they are far away? Mm. You know, when mm. they are far away or mm. even when they are near yes. compared to the way things would happen in the past? That's a great question. And I think we just go back to relationships. Yes. Uh, and maybe uh, sometimes I like to give a context. Uh, why do we need to first honor this person before yes. we even ask ourselves, mm. uh, how do we honor them? Uh -huh. If my dad and mom mm -hmm. did not make a decision mm -hmm. i would not be here yes so my very essence of and i know god creates god gives seed mm -hmm. and all those things mm -hmm. but the your it, presence it, it for them for me to be alive and present mm -hmm. it took my parents yeah. mm -hmm. And so my very existence, to even to be able to do business yeah. or to be able to do what? Yeah. The context is, yeah. without my parents, yes. I would not be here. Yes. So already that now sorts the issue of honor. Yes. On a basic level. Yes. If my survival depended on them. I mean, um, one time I made a joke. We were talking to young people mm. who are feeling very disappointed by their parents, yes. the things they did not do. Yes. And, and I, I asked them a question. And the question was, and it's another question. Mm. Are you respecting your parents because they have met your expectations mm. or the fact that you are here because of them? And you know, most young people could not answer that question. No, I did not tell them to bath me. Thank you very much. Yes. But you are here. Mm. The fact that you are here existing, mm. the people who made sure that you are here mm. should be respected regardless of what they do or they don't do. The people that God used to ensure that 
you are down here. Mm. Yes. Yes. Because you can validly stay here without being bathed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. So it means those people need to. So now then we can ask ourselves then how do we, how? Yes. How do we honor them? And and for me, as you said, it's a matter of principle. For me, fact number one is thoughts. Mm. We honor them with our thoughts. Mm. You know, there's a way you can think about a parent. Mm. Yes. Because they have disappointed you mm. or they have done a very good thing. Thoughts. Mm. How you think about them. Mm. Do you think them with, you know, with courtesy and care? Mm. I mean, are you looking forward? Mm. I like to make an example that, you know, when, when a man finds somebody that they love, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's something about how they think, mm. yes. something about how they feel about mm. them, mm. how they talk about them, mm. how they, they do things. Mm. Mm. With our thoughts, mm. with our words, because yes. mm. again, when you think, you feel. Mm. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. How do we speak yes. about this particular person? Yes. And then what do we do with this person? Yes. What are direct things, like they were saying, material things you mm -hmm. do for them? Mm -hmm. So part of honor is, regardless of who this parent is, yes. have done good or bad, mm -hmm. you have positive thoughts about them. Mm -hmm. You're thinking about how do I become a blessing to mm -hmm. them? Yes. How do I make their day lighter? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now, within those four spaces, mm -hmm. you can now align. Because again, honor is not a state. Mm -hmm. It is something that you must proactively okay. do. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. wow. people will say, I honor you, I respect you, thank wow. you very much. Yes. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's not. And I think Matthew, I think there's a time Jesus told uh, uh, some Pharisees that yes. you guys yes. are actually playing jokes. Yes. The things you're supposed to do on your parents, you think you can't do you you to honor good. God. Yes. Yes. And he's like, no, 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 no. It's not just a matter of heartfelt. Yes. It needs to be, you know, evidenced mm. in life. Yes. Yes. So if you're thinking positively, you're talking positively, mm. you're definitely, you know, yeah. feeling positive towards them and doing certain things. Yeah. I, I like the place where you're starting by the thoughts mm. because you're saying they're actually not there. Yeah. Mm. Even another person does not know. Until you speak, yes. no one knows. Yes. Mm. So it's actually a place where God mm. is actually in. Mm -hmm. Any other person is not there. Yeah. So we're basically saying, if you started with the right thoughts, yes. if every time they cross your mind, mm -hmm. you're actually thinking, how are my parents doing? Mm. These people who brought me up, mm. what can I do for them? Mm. When last did I speak to them? Mm. You know, thoughts only. Mm. Because we actually say that if you start moving from within, mm. you will definitely move without. in the without. True. So yes. true. And that is what happened. Because yes. if your thoughts are basically telling you mm. that there's no need mm. disregard these people. Yes. Um, before I get there mm. to, to where we are now finding mm. young men mm. actually taking a reverse road. They are punishing their parents. Eh? Mm. So when you look at it, eh? yeah. so if your thoughts are going that way, yes. you definitely manifest it. You look for a panga, you mm. look for a machete, yes. you actually look for something that will injure those people. Yes. But if you're thinking positively, yes. God has his way of sending that message to them. And, and there's an example, if I may, uh, uh, David, yes. as a king, yes. thinks about Saul and yes. Jonathan. Mm. Yes. And he says, is there someone yes. in the house of Saul that we can show honor? Yes. That's the thought level. Yes. Sure. Where he's thinking, mm. I need to do something good mm. to this family. For yes. the sake of Jonathan and yes. Saul. Mm. Is there someone? Is there someone mm. that I can show honor to? Mm. And guess what? Mm. Because of his thinking, mm -hmm. there's an action. Mm -hmm. It follows. It follows. Mm. Yes. And you know, and there was actually someone who needed that, mm. who considered himself a dead dog, mm. but needed, uh, you know, that honor. Yes. So for the sake of Saul and Jonathan, mm. David is able to become a blessing mm. to maybe for sure. Wow. In that regard. Wow. So that's the thought level that we're talking wow. about. Yes. yes. So let's come to the actual, the tangibles. The tangibles, like you said, uh, if my father calls me, I will actually sort of receive the call and say, Dad, let me call you back. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, even in that position, you should. It's a way of honor. Mm -hmm. But can we give a little, a few more examples? Mm -hmm. Having your biological parents mm. uh, is a blessing mm -hmm. and also having sons mm. and daughters is a blessing. Is a blessing. Mm. And each of us to stimulate the honor, the thoughts mm. is we need to uh, look at it. If I would want to be a blessing mm. to one week, just yes. so, so I, I strive to be a blessing to my parents. Yes. Mm. Uh, and the scriptures talks about as a wise son, mm -hmm. A wise son, a wise son makes the father happy. happy yes. So it brings joy to the father. Yeah. So 
one is is I look inwards to become a blessing to my them, to my parents. Yes. In in whichever way. Yes. And make them feel, receive the joy. Yes. Uh, by demonstrating the wisdom. So, uh, so in terms of the practical ways, one uh, I, I think whether 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 is my whether your parents have uh, you come like for my some some of us come from dysfunctional families where you you stated yes. families are not are not neat and all yes. that mm. you had push and push and pull mm. at some point mm. but you need to grow up and mature mm. for you to honor yes. i can tell you for a fact mm. you can't much you, you can't honor mm. at that particular base where yes. you're still hurting mm. you still have have issues mm. and then unless you grow up mm. beyond to, to come to a specific level of maturity you, mm. for you to dispense and to begin to process the thoughts mm. to begin to process the actions mm -hmm. to begin to, to to manifest and mm. act mm. so one of the key things in mm. terms of honoring is Giving the thoughts, mm. giving a call, mm. is, is an honor. Yeah. I allow me to share this. I, I have we have a group of five friends. Mm. Three or four years down the line, mm -hmm. we we came together and mm -hmm. we say, "Men, I think we we need to 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 pursue mm. and be and just." We of course we knew one another from mm. in the city, yes. but we said we need to go back to our parents and begin to just to show them some love. Mm. Amazing, we, we have gone to, of course, all of us are married, so we have 10, mm. ten families, of course. Yes. Ten, ten, 10 families of us. And we have gone to each and every individual of those mm. families. Went and... and, and I'm yes. understanding here that yes. because you are five couples, yes. and you, you have where you come from, yes. and your wife comes from, yes. 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 so yes. we have 10 families. Yes. That, um, mm -hmm. So we have 10 families, and of all the, the 10 families, we had one goal. Mm. We didn't. We we had one goal, and we visited, mm. sat down with the parents, mm. and just say we are here, just to say hi. I've come to my second point, which yes. I'd like you to labor on a little bit, yes. eh? so that it can come out. Yes. From thoughts, it goes to the presence. The presence. No, nothing is given yes. yet. Yes. You you move from now the thoughts yes. to the presence. Yes. And and I want that physical presence for yes. now. Yes. Maybe we we'll talk about yes. the not necessarily the. The, the physical presence, mm. but you're trying to be present mm. even though you are away. Yeah. But let's talk about what happens in that physical presence when you activate now the physical presence. For the, the, ten, the, the 10 families we visited, yes. um, every of those highlights to me up to date, and yes. we visited with our children. Mm. We wanted our children to see. Yes. Uh, we also uh, showing honor. Yes. Uh, to our parents. Yes. Amazing. Something that I, that I can say is when we sat and we say, we have just come here together with your son or with your daughter. Yes. Just to see you mm. and to see how you're faring on. Yes. And to also say thank you yeah. uh, and also to know that these are your fr the friends of your daughter or your son. Yes. Um, and some of them are wondering. I think it was it, 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 because it was an, it's not it's something that is not done regularly, mm. and they were wondering it how. It's becoming difficult yes. to to define, yes. to explain. Yes, but you're saying it was a no something. Yes, it is what you're saying. Yes. that that sound brings joy. Yes, mm. it brings happiness. Yes, and and on the other side, you're saying brings a blessing. Yes, in, in actual fact, maybe yes. you're not telling us. Yes. maybe blessing you are conferred upon you mm. beyond their own son. Yes, mm. you know, in case you had visited a certain in family yes. and blessing were actually conferred upon you. yes uh -huh. so 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 uh, in that setting then after after that small discussion eating and playing around mm. we ask uh the father because the the greater blesses the lesser yes so we ask would you bless your son oh, or your daughter yes. just speak a word of blessing yes. they may not be born again mm. just speak a word that out of goodwill yes uh, to the son or yes. the daughter mm -hmm. And together, of course, we are there, mm. and we are uh, for we adopted a principle which uh, which I had from one man of God, yes. uh, Apostle um, uh, Patrick, yes. which he said, when when you go to a place and sons are being blessed, stay just stand behind mm. that blessing will. <laughs> 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 well, so these, guys are, these guys are tapping into blessing uh, ten families, yeah. not just one, but yeah. ten families. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So. And I know we we'll come mm. to this. Yes. We have the reverse happening mm. in many places. Mm. Very good example that you're given here by Joshua Limo. Mm. But we also have situations mm. where young men mm. 
especially young men, because this show is about men. Mm. They even come together with other men mm. to go and undo the blessing. Mm. <laughs> you get me? Mm -hmm. or, or when they go there, the thing they're trying to do mm. is actually a complete reverse. Mm. The, the thoughts were not positive. Mm. The presence mm. is in darkness, mm. not during the light. Mm. <laughs> no, no, we used to that uh, during that day. <laughs> so these that day. guys actually come yeah, in yeah, the night yeah. and they do something with us. Mm. Because you're going to take a short break very quickly. Mm. Tell us, what is it mm. that may is leading to this? Uh, I think we, we have a crisis of honor. Mm -hmm. On a general uh, speaking, uh, and uh, it could be part of this is parenting, the other one could be decisions. Mm -hmm. whether, whether my parents did a good job bringing yeah. me up, yeah. I need to be able to, to bless them. But yeah. we have a group of young people, and I think Proverbs at the end says, you know, there are people who cast their father, yeah. and, and, you know, and, and, you know, and do that to their mother. And, and there's already a curse attached to re not regarding highly. Yes. Leave alone even now taking our chance. Yeah. But we have a generation of young people who've been disappointed, mm. but they expected their parents to do certain things they didn't do. Yes. Or some of them are purely lazy, and they've decided, I will not do anything. Yes. I'm actually going, he brought me, let mm. him take care of me. Yes. And that is creating a crisis where yes. instead of them becoming a blessing, they actually, some of them even killing their parents mm -hmm. so that they can inherit the, you know, the resources that they have. Mm. A, a very selfish uh, uh, move or motive yes. where instead of becoming a blessing to someone, you are coming to, to steal from them. So there is a crisis of, of honor, honor where people, men, especially young men, are not seeing you know, the relevance of this command and mm. what it means. But I think this is also going beyond the men, and I agree with you. Yeah. This is a crisis, yeah. and, and that trend, we can actually see it. You see it where you can actually identify with, within certain geographies where you come from. Yes. You can actually see the information being aired on TV. You can actually read on social media, people mm -hmm. who hacked their parents yes. over, even to some extent, very little amounts of money, mm -hmm. or even what you can actually call the material land, or anything else, or others you don't even have any explanation, mm -hmm. but things have actually happened. And I think when we come back after, mm -hmm. after the break, mm -hmm. we'll be trying to speak to the real causes of this mm -hmm. and trying to unearth mm -hmm. and also trying to provide some solution. Yeah. And, uh, and if you like, because the Bible has got solution, yes. we'll be yes. able to look at what does the Bible say mm -hmm. about that situation mm -hmm. when the father and the sons are not together. Mm -hmm. So, to our viewers, this is Man Unveiled, and uh, we're discussing honoring our biological parents. And we really want to look at the changing trends and how we can reverse that to ensure that the blessings spoken in the book of Exodus and Ephesians actually come back to every single man. So we're taking a short break. We'll be back right soon. Reading is a gateway to knowledge and wisdom. It allows us to learn from the experiences of others and to be inspired by their stories. At Elevation Bookshop, we have a wide selection of books on a variety of topics, including leadership, purpose, marriage, finance, and more. Visit us today at Kenya Cinema Plaza along Moy Avenue or call us on 0748-902-225. Or visit our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages at Elevation Bookshop to place your order. We deliver orders countrywide. Elevation Bookshop. and reach your life. Welcome back to our, our, our viewers. We, we are glad that you are watching. Keep it Elevate TV and this is Man Unveiled. Um, before we took the break, we were talking about honoring our parents and we looked at the various ways of honoring them. 
starting from our thoughts to our presence to using our material things. And therein lies the blessing that we actually get from them conferred upon us. One, because God has spoken about it, uh -huh. but also the men can actually see uh -huh. that we've actually been able to honor. Uh -huh. But we're also seeing trend, what we alluded to before, before we took a break, where there seems to be something reversing. On one side, you find instead of adults, mm -hmm. children, adults being able to take care of their parents, they're actually looking up to them. And when things don't happen, they actually find themselves being clobbered. Mm -hmm. They find themselves being punished for not being able to support these people, whether that is genuine or not. So the question is, what is it that is causing this trend? in the modern society mm. where parents are actually basically suffering under the hands of their children and, and the various ways they are actually suffering. Mm. So, so maybe we can look at that, Joshua Limo. What is it that is causing this to be? I, I, think, I think it's uh, one of the key things that causing is the, the, the malfunction of family setups mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in that the families are not, are not that uh, a good environment uh, for, for maybe people to grow, maybe the husband and the wife had issues and maybe the, 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 the man is left alone to grow up with the mother. Mm. So, so maybe with that, that that's part of the, the malfunctioning mm. aspect of the family setup. Yeah. Mm. The other thing is the manipulation. Mm -hmm. The manipulation aspect. Yes. Parents would, uh, well, let, me, let me do the other way, sons mm. would want to manipulate mm. their parents. Mm for them to get a blessing yes, uh, or to get what they have. Yes. And manipulation would mean many things, yes. including even uh, killing the parents. That's yes. a manipulative way to yes. access the inheritance. Mm -hmm. That's a manipulative anchor. Yes. And the equal to the parents, mm -hmm. the parents could, uh, could manipulate, manipulate the son the to honor them. Yes. Honor, as we said, it's a hard issue. Yes. I can't manipulate you to honor me. Yes. And so the parents, a few, uh, some manipulate their sons yeah. to, to honor mm. them, which should not be the case. It yes. should be demonstrated. Honor is demonstrated, yes. is, is, is expressed. Yes. So if, you, if, you, if I manipulate you, then I will not. So one is the malfunctioning environment of growth. Mm -hmm. Two is the, the manipulation mm -hmm. that happens yes. in a family. Mm -hmm. And then three is lack of understanding and mentorship mm -hmm. to be able to to begin to understand mm -hmm. how to honor mm -hmm. so those those three three things mm -hmm. has contributed to large of uh, gap in mm -hmm. terms of parent mm -hmm. son mm -hmm. honoring mm -hmm. them walking in honor mm -hmm. uh, maybe we some some young men and, and uh, maybe haven't seen they are older, they are elders, like maybe if I am the, 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 the young, uh, a young, a young man in our family, then I have my elder brothers. I haven't seen them show honor to my father. Wow. Then, then that means the same trend will continue. Mm. However, if, I, if they help the elder people are able to see, mm. are able to see, and uh, the, the younger people are able to see elder, elder men mm. showing honor to their, mm -hmm. to their parents, mm -hmm. then that's, that could trigger something. Yes. But if that is not happening in a society, in a mm -hmm. community, then you can't expect, including in a family so setup. So there seems to be something that is broken. Yes. You know, the way you'd actually say, um, the elder uh, brothers or to someone or uncles, yes. they're actually demonstrating honor to some people. Yes. So we seem to have lost the society somewhere yes. where that place of honor basically disappeared yeah. and therefore the people who were behind there mm -hmm. they also come in and do what they've actually been seeing yeah. happening yeah. Ningi, what do you have to say about this uh, um i think um, and i like uh, his thoughts about you know just uh, where the gaps are yeah. um, i have worked with young people for many years mm -hmm. and uh, two things have come up when we discuss honor your parents because mm -hmm. it's one of the priorities of a young person yeah. is is they must be able to honor and and bless their parents yeah and the biggest one is, I think, uh, if I can cumulatively say the two things I've seen, is modeling and mentoring. Because mm. for me, uh, when young people don't see a modeling, you mm. see, if we as parents are talking before our children mm. about somebody who we should be giving honor to, mm. but we dishonor them, mm. some things are more caught than taught. Yes. So children will pick it up and say, mm. hey, 
when when we when somebody does uh, something wrong yeah we don't talk before them, but when we are together, we talk about them. Oh. Yeah. And that becomes a lifestyle. Yeah. So you see, so parents have, without knowing, you know, modeled the wrong way, you know, of dishonor. Mm -hmm. And it, it bites them because even the way they treat their parents. Mm -hmm. I know of, of, of a family where uh, brothers and sisters, Wakikosana, they take two years before they talk and they tell their children, do not visit. We no longer talk to them. Don't associate with them. Don't, we don't even want to see in the house. Then after they, uh, they regain the relationship, they tell children, now you can talk. Now you can talk to each other. What have you left these children doing? Yes. You've just modeled yes. that how you deal with challenges is flight mm. and yes. fight. Mm. And instead of addressing and, and doing whatever needs to be done. Yes. So there's a very big gap yes. in, the, in the regard of you know, modeling. modeling. A lot of young people have not seen mm. Even in basic conversations, mm. I mean, a long time ago, mm. you know, when people would visit our house, mm. by the time they enter, we were standing, greeting and leaving. Mm. It was no question mm. that, you know, it's my seat mm. or my cup. Mm. It was the guests have come, we've left. Mm. That element yeah, of that honor, is, because yeah. of that presence, parents being present. And there's a gap with industrialization. Yes. Because by the, if the parents are not very there to model, th some of those things will not get you know, land mm -hmm. with the small time that a parent is coming during the weekend. But mm -hmm. then secondly, mm -hmm. there's mentoring. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of young people who haven't been taught what one looks like. We have a lot of broken families, mm -hmm. you know, where, you know, single parent homes. Mm -hmm. Already the mother is unhappy with the father. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know, with the husband. Mm -hmm. And so what does she teach mm -hmm. this young man? Mm -hmm. Even in families that are functional, they're mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. when there's conflict. Mm. What conversations are taught? Yes. Do we still respect dad when he cannot provide rent? Mm. Do we still, you know, he, he's abusive, he's not a Christian, he does not know ethics. Mm. Do we still respect him for who he is? Yeah. So without some of those things being taken care of, mm. where there's mentoring. Mm. I mean, I remember my mom used to tell us, regardless of what your dad does, mm. he's your dad. Mm. My issues with your dad are issues. Yes. And he had huge issues. Yes. You know, there was already yes. one very huge issues. Yes. But you know, he used to say, I want you to know yes. that this is my husband and my relationship with him mm. does not concern you. We have a different relationship. We have a different relationship with you guys. So respect him for who he is, mm. regardless of what he does. Mm. And you see now that was mentoring. Mm. So even if we were very angry with him, mm. guess what? We'd be told, no, 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 no. Let's go to settings. Yes. Settings is you're respecting this person. Yes. yes. If that modeling and mentoring is not taught, mm. then we have a broken society. Mm. I know there's a place you've mentioned Christian. Mm. And looking at the other side, say non Christians. Yes. And though we may say extreme side, mm. they've gone to kill, him, they've gone to steal. Him. Mm. Do you find like the place of dishonor, mm. let me even put it dishonor, mm -hmm. is actually there? Though you were born again, mm. you say you're born again, you're mm. in church, mm. you may not go to the extremes. Mm. Do we find a situation where we also have such uh, element of dishonor? In the house of the Lord? Oh, yes, it is there. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, and it is so big. Um, in fact, uh, <laughs> the Bible is very clear. It says, uh, when a command comes from the Lord, mm -hmm. honor men of God, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's because it's not getting done. Yeah. Good. So there's a lot of not respecting mm -hmm. the position, mm -hmm. not respecting the people who will give an account for our faith, people yes. who've invested their lives so that we can know God. Mm -hmm. There's a huge level. I mean, and you've heard about conversations about fathers and sons. Yes. For me, I see two sides. Mm. So I say, mm. honor in, a dishonor in church is actually there. Because mm. you see, if you don't respect the person who's feeding you spiritually, mm. who's laboring so that you can know God mm. and enjoy eternal life, mm. if that person does not receive the honor due, double honor as the Bible says, yes. there's a very big crisis. Yes. And, and we're not saying bring all your money to him. No, no, no. Uh, there are people who say, you know, they eat pastors for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> you see, so that's already dishonor because if there's a point where you're disregarding or lowering his standard mm. or not honoring for the people who you respect, mm. dishonor is already happening. So it's actually there. It is happening. And, and so when you're talking about this matter to you as our audience, we're basically not talking about the people out there. Mm. We're speaking to everybody, including to ourselves, mm. because you can also say that you'd be able to continue growing. Yes. In terms of this, yes. I want us to come to the place of the various institutions yes. that the Lord has enabled man to, to, to have. The first one being the family, which you've spoken to a little bit. Mm -hmm. The second one is actually in the school setup. And the third one is actually the church. Because mm -hmm. I find those as the 
main institution that actually God has given to us. Before we go to the government, which does not actually partake in terms of instilling, actually it comes to uh, telling you you did not. They don't, because whenever you do it, they don't come back to give you a reward. Yeah. The reward is actually with your father. That is what it is saying, isn't it? Mm. And on your mother. Mm. But the government comes and tells you, you know what? Mm. What you've done is bad. Mm. Get into the prison. Mm. So what is the role of these three institutions, the family, the school, and the church? Pastor Limo. The heavy role is at the, at the, at the family level. At the family level. The heavy role is at the family level. Mm -hmm. Why? It's because that is where it is it is easy to practice and that is where it is it is taught and learned and caught as he has said. Yes. Uh, if if I, I deal with children mm -hmm. and children I they easy they, they see you, they see what I do mm. and they're able quickly to, to do it. Yes. To replicate. To replicate very quickly. Mm. Uh, and someone said for, from age zero to seven mm -hmm. is the time the child is absorbing everything. Mm. Everything. Mm. And children absorb by look, mm. act, mm. What, the, what the environment is providing. Mm. So to me, the heavy responsibility is in, is in the family level. Mm. I, will, I will go back to just quote a, a story in the, in the scriptures, in the, in the Bible that mm. talks about uh, Noah. Mm -hmm. No, one time he was, he, after, of course, the flood and everything, I think he was happy that mm -hmm. everything was, that he went, took some... He was celebrating. He was celebrating, <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yes. He went, took some, some wine, and he was drunk. The Bible says he was drunk. Mm -hmm. When he was drunk, he had his sons. Mm -hmm. His sons uh, came up, and, uh, of course, he, because of drunkardness, mm -hmm. he... The, I think maybe they used to put the, the sugar something. Yes. The sugar maybe caught hooked up somewhere and it fell. Then was a massa. And he, yeah, in a good way. <laughs> in a good way. Yeah. And it fell. And he was naked. And the scriptures talks about the sons. Mm. So one of the sons uh, came, looked at the, the, the father, and he laughed. Mm. Uh, and went to call the other sons. To come and see. Come and see. Mm. The, <laughs> the, 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 the way the... A free video. Yeah, free vid video yes. here. Yeah. The way he's... So, so he, he, instead of uh, the regard... Of, of the parent he didn't do that so he went he took it as a as a way maybe like maybe some of us would maybe if it was this, this generation mm. some would have gone to tiktok yeah. take a video and post in tiktok oh the, for the father viral. to go viral mm. but the, then but the other the other when the other sons came they looked and they said no no no, no we can't do that so they took the they, they took a a a, a, a an, a garment and went backwards without looking. Yes, without looking. Without, looking. without looking. Yes, and covered their father. Honor, honor. They mm. covered their father, mm. and the Bible says when the father woke up, mm. he knew what had happened. Yes, and he cast this a son. Yeah, who who did who who, who looked at his mm. father's nakedness mm. and did not cover. Yes. So uh, so so looking at those sons mm. of 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 uh, of, of uh, Noah. One practiced honor, mm. uh, yes, the rest practiced, one did not practice honor yes. and the but consequences the of his yeah. honor. Mm. Jacob had the same scenario, yes. uh, whereby he had sons, mm. he had 12 sons, of mm. course, every yes. one of us know, mm. and mm. all his sons had different way of expressing each other, each, each, and of course, him, you know, he had two wives mm. plus several other yeah. concubines, concubines yeah. and all that. But one of the, when he was coming to the point of departure he blessed the bible talks about he called his sons everyone come mm. and he blessed and one of the the, the firstborn he did not bless mm. you all know he did not and bless he's Ruben, and he's a firstborn he did not bless him mm. because of his acts mm. his demonstration and he, that means he he did not demonstrate honor to the father mm. and so because he, because he did not demonstrate honor to the father the bible says mm. he, he said you you will be unstable as what that means um Honor brings blessing, and it's in a speci specifically in a, in a family setup because that is where blessings are dispensed from a father to the son. And and not I, I, by the way, I, I think a, a son cannot bless a father. You, know. you cannot. You, you can, can only give. A, 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 you cannot you give, can give honor, honor them. Yes. Give honor, mm. but you cannot bless. But a father blesses a son. Yeah. Because that is position God blessed them. So. Heavy coming to the question, we, um, in the in, in the institutions, yes, you're saying the uh, so family takes the first place. Family takes the first place, and is in fact the Bible says, 
parents that, that we, it gives heavy, heavy responsibility on parents that you teach your children the word of God. Bless them. They are, they are the lintels of your house. Mm -hmm. are the, every part of the house, when they wake up, yes. when they look at this, mm -hmm. they, they, they are able to see mm -hmm. scripture. Why? Because so that they can begin to grow in honor. So wow. I think for me, I'll talk at that particular perspective mm -hmm. that everyone needs to concentrate so, so, so. On, the, on, the, on the first unit, the family level. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Nyingi, would you like to say something? Probably in the place of um, the church as an institution. Yes, and, uh, and for, for me to broaden it up, and church is a great opportunity for us because we get to meet people every week mm -hmm. who are deserving of honor. Mm -hmm. So for me, the context of honor that uh, I think... Let me say, we are actually broken from home. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From other environments. Yes. So they <laughs> say, we only have this family. one day. Yes. <laughs> so, dear, <laughs> this so, few hours. Yes. So, so we have this spiritual family that the Lord has given us like our physical family. So I say, as a matter of principle, we say that honor is to regard with this uh, deep respect. Mm. Okay? So we say, uh, biblically speaking, we are expected to honor people because Christ died for them. If for no other reason, mm. God created them and God has crowned people with glory and honor. Yeah. It is God who's done it. Mm. And if God himself can make a human being and give them glory and honor, mm. Who are we to not follow? And you're supposed to be Christ's example. Mm -hmm. So uh, whether it's an usher, because mm -hmm. we said it, uh, honor is a crossboard. Yes. In fact, if you want to know you're in dishonor, just look at how you treat people. Yes. Uh, treat that watchman, that secretary, mm -hmm. that child. Mm -hmm. You see, if people are, 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 are created in the Those image of Christ, yes. mm -hmm. if they're created in the image of Christ and they are worthy of honor, God has given them glory and honor, mm -hmm. so should you. Mm. So we should be able in church, have mm. so much honor for people who serve, mm. people who give their lives, you know, mm. pastors who lead us, mm. you know, people we relate with, even relationships. Mm. I mean, God gives you an opportunity to be part of a home fellowship. I mean, imagine the blessing that is mm. for your spiritual growth and for your eternity. Mm. How can you take those relationships casually yeah. and cannot, expect it blessings? It, will, it should not happen. Wow. Yes. Just, just to come in in terms of the aspect of honor in church, mm. I think for me... Uh, quite many, 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 the honor, like, honor should be from an individual perspective yes. to everyone, as yes. he has said, honor everyone that it's comes. Everyone, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a child, whether it's, so long as they have a responsibility in the church, mm -hmm. or no, even if they don't have a responsibility, so long as they are presence, mm -hmm. honor them as a brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Honor them as a sister. Yeah. Honor them as, them as an elder. Mm -hmm. Honor, so in whichever the scripture talks about that, that we should, that, that the, the, the young, mm -hmm. the young women too, to honor the, to yes. honor, uh, to look for the, the elder women to mm -hmm. teach them mm -hmm. on how to honor their husband and yeah. the same and the same to men. But I think for me again, we need to look at the excesses. Mm -hmm. There is this particular an element of excesses whereby um, you, the, the 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 way uh, the way I, I I demonstrate honor in the in the church, mm -hmm. going back at home, yes, the honor is lost. Yes, is it because of the of the setup? Yes. Or it is it is because of the heart. Uh, so I think we need, <laughs> looking at that, we yes. need also to manage the excess mm -hmm. excesses of, 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 yeah, of that. And, and of that, that is the place of coming when we are talking about these institutions. Yes. Could there be a place also that is actually defective, not necessarily because of the institution? Yes. The institution may not be the problem. Absolutely. But it could be the individuals. Yes. That the first place they've been taught about honor is actually at the church. And once they learn, they have all that, and they have nothing to take to the, uh, to, back to the family, yeah. back to the society outside. Yes. So they may look, so to speak, people of honor. Yeah. They are honoring when they are within the confines yes. of the church. Yes. But away from that, they have yeah. nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Instead of now taking that as a model mm -hmm. and using the model to go up to the other place and say, you know what, I have learned. Mm -hmm. Because there are people who will only learn because this, the family setup did not allow them yes. to learn the word and understand the yes, honor. Yes, yes. The society did not also bring. But then when they come to the institution called the church, they've been taught in such a nice way, they've actually started doing it, then they're supposed to take back. So what is it that then causes those that you're saying a lot of excess on one side, the other side is actually a desert of uh, honor? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. I think I like the way you, you because I think because maybe we didn't, we, the, the family was dysfunctional, so mm. we, I didn't, no, there was no learning of honor. Yes. So coming to the church, mm. 
the honor is taught you are loved. and you and you're loved you the environment this is an environment of conducive. of conducive for honor uh now but the other the other aspect where you're coming from is still a struggle yes because you honor is is, is nothing to nothing like a, a, there's no conducive environment for yes. that yes so i think uh we have a long journey to travel yes specifically the church yes uh we have a long journey to travel mm. to 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 lift the to live to carry the 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 the, the environment mm -hmm. as an individual not even away the church, from the church away from the church to mm. the community because if i grew up from a dysfunctional family mm. where uh, father and mother fighting on a regular basis son and they are arguing they without they are share they are exchanging mm. words mm. very without mm. without regard of who is elder who is who is a father who is a son yes if i come to the church and begin to grow and begin to see the father of the house or the, the pastor mm. the teaching honor people demonstrating honor then but when i want to go back and do the same mm. I, I the environment back there is not it's not conducive it's so not what conducive. should i do mm. as an individual yes. i think that's a good question maybe yes. to ask what ourselves should what should i do yes i've come to this environment yes. i've seen honor mm -hmm. being displayed yes being demonstrated i seem not as, to i seem not to be able to carry it back home yeah for us as christians yes. god is already at work in us yes. Yes. both to will and to do for his good pleasure yeah. yes. and god will teach you honor. Yeah. god will speak to you the spirit and tell you i think you need to uh, to do something mm -hmm. and, and and i'd even say for those people who've ever had uh, uh fractured relationships mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. home mm -hmm. like i have mm -hmm. i'd say mm -hmm. honor first actually begins by forgiveness yes. yes we need to forgive the people mm -hmm. who we are supposed to give honor Absolutely. for these honorable things that they Absolutely. did mm -hmm. because if we don't begin from the space of forgiveness mm -hmm. yes. you see you cannot uh, you will struggle to honor someone Absolutely. who if you're still holding something against that they did for you. Yeah. So I tell people who struggle with honor, I say, I think, let's go back. Because yeah. I have been there, I yes. mean, very, very practically. Yes. Go back and, and ask yourself, what did Christ do for me? Mm -hmm. He actually forgave me for the many yeah. things I've done. Yeah. So this person is number one worthy of my respect. But they've hurt me. I mean, s some of them, you know, horrid stories I've had. Mm -hmm. But regardless of that, there's, we extend forgiveness to them as part of honor. Mm -hmm. But then secondly, mm -hmm. we go ahead and give to them mm -hmm. the honor that is due Absolutely. to them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think so, that's very vital. Uh, allow me to go all the way back to where he started. He said, it is the son mm -hmm. to go to the father. Uh, when those things go wrong, mm -hmm. whether you've been taught in church or you knew from another place and you need to take it home. Mm -hmm. And you need to take it home and probably read a line or two in the book of Malachi, mm -hmm. chapter number four, mm -hmm. where, where um, the Bible says, uh, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to find the place of God still communicating. No, you say prophet. Mm -hmm. But the spirit of God is still able to locate men. Mm -hmm. Sadio. Mm -hmm. He's still able to locate men. For them to be able to do that which they're supposed to do. Uh, before the coming of the great day and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the hearts of fathers to the children. Mm -hmm. And the heart of the children to their fathers. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do that. You remember we started by saying there's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't do that, there's also the, the curse. The curse. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, lest I come and strike the earth with a curse. Mm -hmm. so, so we started with the blessing. Mm -hmm. And now we're coming to the place where you're saying, if the heart of a son and the heart of the father, and basically here when we talk about the son, we're also including the women. But we talk here a lot to men. So, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so there will be a curse. Mm -hmm. And I would like to, come to talk to that is a way of trying to close in the next two minutes. Ninge, start okay. with you. Okay, I think for me, I'd say uh, fathers uh, and men have the responsibility to begin to bring back uh, the culture by their own modeling yeah. you know, of honor. And if as a father you've, you've hurt your son or you aren't there or they've raised issues where you disappointed them, just come to them mm -hmm. and say, I'm sorry. Yes. Because, you know, forgiveness begins there. Yes. And if you are a son, whether your father comes or not, you yeah. know, and says, I am sorry, yeah. uh, forgive them yes. because of who they are and yeah. what they have done. Yeah. So, so part of God bringing that, and I think uh, when, when Christ 
uh, when we become Christians, we put our faith in Jesus Christ, God already begins to change how we see life, mm -hmm. how we see pain, how we see issues. And I think every Christian needs to come to the place of saying, look, these people deserve my honor, regardless of what they've done to me. Yeah. So I like to tell people, and I'd say this for me, every person who has ever been hurt by a parent mm -hmm. or a spiritual parent or whoever it is, regardless of the pain that was inflicted, God is still expecting you to find in your heart to forgive, but also to go ahead and share, yes. have good thoughts, yes. speak well, yes. act well, bless them financially, mm. empower them. Mm. You need to do whatever you need to so do. So again, you've gone back to have the good thoughts uh -huh. yes. of asking for the forgiveness. Uh -huh. Yes. Make yourself available. Yes. Uh -huh to be able to do it, and yes. especially when it comes to the true father biological, oh, yes. it's actually a presence thing. Yes. You go to be present Build so the relationship. and actually now be able to bring the bond and the relationship yes. that extent. Pastor Limo? We are growing in this. This is a, a, a journey that we, everyone is growing. Even yeah. the 91, 90 yeah. years old, yes. everyone is growing on honor. Yes. You cannot say you have grown fully in honor. Mm -hmm. So let's all grow in, in this pursuit of honoring our mm -hmm. parents, biologically specifically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Honoring our mothers, mm. honoring our fathers, mm. whether they are they are they are alive, mm. specifically if they are still alive, so specifically if they are still alive, they are still alive. Yeah. Yeah. and because this is a very important thing, yeah. in my opinion, mm. that place of honor, you cannot find something being spoken to mm. almost at the beginning of the Bible when yeah. the family is just formed. Yes. Mm. Because look at the point after Genesis quickly into mm. Exodus, mm. and you actually able to find that, and you find the same words being repeated. There's, there must be a reason as to find you find that being repeated mm -hmm. in the two, mm -hmm. in the two books, mm -hmm. even based on the yes, two yes, books, yes. in the two testaments. Yes, yes. So, the old and so the therefore, new. look into, look at the camera yes. and give you a parting shot mm -hmm. and let a man out there, whether mm -hmm. he's in church or outside the church, mm -hmm. feel that there's something that they need to do. Okay. Honor is, is a command. It's not based on our feelings. Uh, God expects you to honor and you honor your parents, uh, three simple ways for me that you can start is inquire. Every parent wants someone who can talk to inquire. What do they think about this? They've been there, done that. Number two is you need to include them in your life. And let them be part of you know the relationships, the things you do. And then thirdly is invest in them, empower them. If there's something you can do that can make their lives better, please do it. Remember, the blessing that comes with honor is quality and quantity of life. Not just a long life, yeah. but quality and quantity. Wow. If you want that blessing, you need to do those two things. Uh. Inquire, make sure you are checking on them, getting to how they're doing, mm -hmm. invest in them because it's very key mm -hmm. as part of what you do. Mm -hmm. And also being able to remember that you're also a parent wow. and your children mm -hmm. will remember you on the same level. Thank yeah. you. Thank Great. you, Nyingi. Pastor Great. Limo, look into that camera. To all men out there, I want to talk specifically those who are hurt, because of the dysfunctional family, I want to tell you, man, heal up and ask God grace to, for you to heal, forgive your parents. Know that you, as, 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 as Nyingi has said, you will grow and you become a parent. Demonstrate a great honor or, or with the honor so that your children, the one you bring up, the people who look up to you are able to see honor and they're able to replicate the same in the other setting. So please heal up uh, by God's grace and, and, and move on to demonstrate honor. Call your, your parents. If you haven't called them for a while, this is an evening. You can make it up, make it before you take, the, before, you, before you go to sleep, please call them. Wow. Tell them you just inquiring to say, you're checking on them. That expression is a great expression. Again, if you haven't sent them, if you have some money, please, do send some money to your parents. Maybe they have a need and you are the only hope maybe they have. Please respond and, 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 and do something. Do an act out of this just for your parents to feel. Be part of their life. Bring them to be part of your life. Excellent. Don't close them out. Bring them to be part of your life. Thank you so much and God bless you. Excellent, excellent to our viewers. I think this was a very, very resourceful debate mm -hmm. and a discussion. And I'm very grateful to you too, uh, Nyingi and Limo. And it is very clear that it starts with the thoughts, the presence, and then the material. And it is the inquire, include, mm -hmm. and ensure that you are investing, investing yes. and you're moving together. And you think, heal up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go beyond that. So this was Man Unveiled. And I was your host, Anthony Wanyeke. See you 
until next week. Bye-bye.